Hello everyone, welcome back again. My name is Jesse, and then in this tutorial, we learn about working with stop waste in space, right? So what are stop waste? So stop waste usually refer to a group of waste or a list of waste which are usually filtered out before you do test processing. And usually, usually are more the most common ways or most frequent ways that usually occur in the paragraph or in the corpus, in which they actually do not make relevance, right? They are they are important but not all that important in most cases because they are always repetition. So mostly we have to first of all filter those ways and then by filtering out those ways it help the ways to become more easier. It helps your processing to become more easier. So for example like the usefulness of filtering out stock ways is to help you improve performance in search engines. So let's see something like this. So for example like how to perform this right so how to perform sentiment analysis. So when we search for this word right on Google or any search engine is dividing these words into tokens right and then these things is dividing into tokens perfect like dividing them based on this white spacing perfect so these words are going to be always are going to be repeated so we can also do something like how to perform let's say synthetic analysis and then it's going to be the same thing synthesis or this is semantic so let's say semantic semantic analysis something like this that's still the same ways which are being repeated, right? So these ways are mostly repeated. So in case you have a corpus like that, you want to try to reduce all those ways to make your work more easier so that it improves search in engine performance, right? So like so that instead of it searching for how to perform, how to perform, so just filter out this, which is this one here, and then go on with the most relevant ones, which is <laughs> see what I've done. Go out with the most re relevant of which is this one. Which is the most important one okay so that is the purpose of stop filtering out stop ways so it also help help us to eliminate noise and then makes machine learning faster because as you are eliminating all these ways like how to and all these things it makes you it reduces the number of sentences right the number of features are supposed to create or supposed to learn and then because of that it makes machine learning more faster and then prediction more accurate because you are removing all those non because relevant words. So now let's see how to do stop words in spacing. So first of all, we just go with import spacing and then we create our NLP object, right? Perfect. So to work with stop words, we have to import the stop words patch package. So it's going to be from spacey.en to spacey.lang, right? Because yeah, and then you are choosing the English version and then you are going for the stop words. So stop words. Then import stop waste. Right, that is one of the ways of doing it. So it's going to import the, the stop waste. So now, since that's already imported, just, now we can check for all the list of stop waste inside this. So to check for the list of stop waste, I just go with print stop waste. So what are these stop waste? So these stop waste include, there are several of them. There are about, there are several, about 300 and something stop waste that's species has so these are all the stop words. these are the most common ways that usually okay in sentence like there like we into hair first all these ways are several ways that always appear in most sentences so it's better you reduce them you filter them out to make your work more easier so how many are they i think they are about plenty let's this one is plenty i think they are about three and five five which is quite enough okay so in case you want to check if a word is a stop word, how do you do that? So it's quite easy to check for a word, whether a word is a stop word, you just go with this. So NLP, which is the one that you initialize the NLP object you created here, right? Then dot vocab, which is a, an attribute. Then you supply whatever word inside this. So it's going to be, let's say the word there, right? Everybody knows that there is a stop word. Then you go with is stop. So if you write, it's going to tell us whether it's a stop word or not. So there is a stop word. You can also use it for a different word altogether. Let's say a word like a, eh, which is a common word anyway, which is also a stop word. True. So in case you want to check if another word is not a stop word, you can also use the same format. And then it's going to be in this way. So let's use a word like team, right? The word team. So team is false because team is not a stop word. So that is how to check if a word is a stop word with species. Now let's see how to filter out a group of words. If you have a group of words, you want to filter them out. Filter out all the non-stop words or filter out the stop words. So how do you do that? So let's create a sentence. So I'm going to call it as my sentence. 
then I'm going to create an NLP object. So it's very important that you, bring, you make it Unicode to make it more easier, right? So the U for the Unicode. Then let's paste the sentence. So this is a sentence about how to use stop waste in natural language processing, right? Perfect. So I've created an NLP object on this sentence. And if you want to filter it out, it's quite easy. You can just go straight away with the script. So it's going to be for word in my sentence, right? I'm going to say if we can, we can actually make it like this. So if the word dot is stop, if the word dot is stop, just like we had it here. Perfect. So you can just either you can pass it inside this format or you can just use it like that. So if the word is stop, uh, the word stop is equal to true, as it's given as true, then print that way. It's going to print all the ways that are stop ways. Perfect. And you see that it's giving us quite an excellent word. So a word in my sentence. So all these ways are stop ways. So this is a stop way. This is a stop way about how to all of these are stop ways. So if you want to check for those that are not stop ways, you can use the same function that the same condition that you created. That is I change it right then you don't worry, it's still going to work. Okay. Want to check for those that are non-stop ways, right? Ways that are not stop ways, you can just make it as true, as false instead of true, right? And it's going to still give us a whole new sentence. So this is a sent this sentence use stop ways natural processing. So that is one way of creating or filtering out a sentence to know filtering out stop ways or non-stop ways with space it. Okay, now you can even create a simple list to be able to do that. So how do you do that? It's going to be just quite simple. You can just do Let's create a normal simple way to start from the back. So wait, that's the first one we had here. Right, as I always say, that's the easiest way of creating a list comprehension. So the word is the first one here. Then we move on to this place, right? So we copy and paste. Then we bring out our last function. Or our last condition. So statement. Okay, perfect. So take out this and then if you run this, it's going to work perfectly without any issue. Perfect. So this sentence uses so these are the non-stop ways which have been filtered out. Okay, so it makes your work easier. So that is how to do stop ways, how to filter non-stop ways and filter stop ways in space. Now let's see in case you have your own custom stop ways and you want to add to it. How do you do that? It's quite simple. So sorry. So how do you add your own stop ways? So to add your own stop ways is quite easy. You can just go with this function. It's going to be like this. So let's go. We have the stop base, right? This was our stop way that we imported. So stop base. That is the one that we imported because which is quite plenty. There are quite a, a number of them are there in five. And we want to add one to it. And to add see that there's we want to add a stop way to it, right? So the word I want to add is so the word I want to add is I want to add this way. So to add it, just go with dot add. Then let me add a word low, right? Especially if you are working with test data, most of them WhatsApp message and all those stuff. Low, L O L. So we can add it to it, and the moment you add it to it has been added to it. So now if I check for NLP and I go with dot vocab, I'm passing this word low to it. I'm going to see ask check to see whether it's a stop word. Stop. So it's going to tell me that it is truly a stop waste it was initially not part of the stop waste but now it has been added to the stop waste so let's add another word to it which is totally different let's see whether it's going to work so another word which we can add to it which is very common in test messages uh let's say um, you're welcome right you welcome i don't know whether it's l w or <laughs> okay something like this right you're welcome something like this u w l c so something like this right so we can add this one to it and then when you check it now you're going to see that it is now a stop word so this is one of the ways of adding a stop words of adding stop word to your of adding stop word. so let's check for it and see whether that word is said so it's true now it's now adding to it perfect so that's one way of adding your own custom stop words to it to allow it you to work with it perfectly so so if you want to move it out, you just go with the same thing. Stop. Where? Dot. Remove. Right. 
Because we have remove, we have clear, and then we have several of them that you can work with it. So if you can, if you want to check, it gives you a lot of functions that you can actually apply to it. So you just click on tap tap. So these are the ways. So we have clear, we have we have a uh, pop to move the last one and then remove. So and then you update it. Okay. So thank you for watching. If you have any question or contribution, you can just put inside the comment section so that everybody can benefit. Please don't forget to subscribe. Stay blessed.